What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little bit of time, not too crazy, but behind me, as you can see, we've got the Q3 looking just a little bit different. That's right, the wrap is finally done. I am so excited, it looks amazing. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and then I'll get into what we're gonna be putting on the car today. Halfway out of the garage and as you can see the sun's going down. I just got home from work So it's starting to get just a little bit dark outside, but as you can see It's done. We went with a satin khaki green I think is the technical term, but it's like an olive drab green from Avery and Here and then on the front I'll show you guys and on the roof rack that's gonna be going back on I went with this matte topography style camo that I think blends in pretty great with the green. It's got some nice greens in there, some nice darker colors. It goes really, really good with the overall theme of the car. And as you can see, we did pretty much everything. We left the antenna gloss black. We've got the badges on the back still here. We did remove the quattro that was here. We removed the S-line badges that were on the side. You can see down here is still matte black. You can see the little Spoiler extensions from factory, those were left gloss black as well. Then moving down here, I went ahead and left that portion of the side skirts gloss black. 
And up front we of course have the RSQ3 style grill still in the gloss black. And I decided to actually leave this strip and the outer grills in gloss black as well. I think it brings the whole thing together really, really well. What do you guys think? And then of course you can see the topography style camo up on the front as well. I wanted to do the body lines on the hood because I've seen this done on like Tacomas and Jeeps and things like that. And I always thought it looked pretty good. So what do you guys think? Uh, there is a body line here. So I could have went in just a little bit more, but I thought with the fenders kind of coming up onto the hood, there would be more than enough of the green on the sides there. And I don't know, I just think it looks really, really good. Again, let me know what you guys think. And for now, we did this to the mirrors. I told my wrap guy to kind of play with it and let me know what you come up with. I was just going to leave them gloss black to tie in with the trim and the windows and kind of the other gloss black accents that I did. But he surprised me with this. Don't necessarily know how I feel about it yet, but I'm going to see if this is something I'm going to decide to keep on or maybe we go all green. He did say that he did do all green and it just didn't look right. So I think it's either going to be this or we're just going to go back to the factory black uh, or maybe I'll grab some carbon fiber mirror caps and add some carbon to the car. Don't know how that would look though. Here's an overall shot of it with the bright orange shot back in the background there. What do you guys think? Personally, I love it. I think it came out really, really good. Now for today, we are going to be throwing on something very, very easy to the back end here. It's going to go right here. And I do still need to cover this because I hate that it's chrome. Um, I might do this in green now because I have some left over. Or we might just go with the matte black. But anyways, let me show you what's going to go right here. Alright, so... This is what we have going on today. It is simply a rear bumper protector. It's made out of like ABS plastic. It kind of matches the plastic that's on the car. Um, you won't see much of it with the hatch closed. I mean, you'll see like, eh, maybe you will see most of it. You'll see like three quarters of it, I suppose. But this is what we have going on. It is from a company called Travel. They are based out of the UK. Um, I reached out to them like months ago. I owe them this video and I apologize. It took me so long, you guys, to get this out, but I was waiting for this to get wrapped, obviously, before I went ahead and installed this because it wouldn't make sense to do it with the car being gloss black, obviously. Now we see why. So, installation, honestly, is easy enough. Um, it has double-sided tape underneath of that there. It includes a 70% isopropyl wipe. You just wipe this down, get it lined up, stick it down, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, you can see here the instructions, super, super simple, nice color instructions, should be easy enough to do. So let's go ahead and get the service prepped, stick this thing on, and I'll show you guys the results and my final thoughts on it as well. All right, so that was uh, simple enough. I mean, I prepped the surface, I got it lined up, which I think just by eyeing it looks pretty good. I think we are centered. That's what it looks like when it's open. And then of course I checked clearance before sticking it down. And that's what it looks like when it's closed. What do you guys think? I think it's a nice little addition. Good thing is it will protect the wrap from Archer when he gets in and out of this. Although with the steps, it doesn't leave much for him to really touch um, because these pads here sit on the bumper. So it only leaves just this little bit of bumper exposed. And he's pretty good about stepping over it anyways, but I figure they sent it to me. I would install it. Uh, fit and finish is great. I mean, dead on. Really, really, really good. The 3M tape is here and then along the bottom edge and then up the side. There isn't any on the back edge there. Um, not really sure why. I mean, I guess you could always add it. Maybe it's not there for a reason. Uh, could be because maybe this does need to move a little bit and flex and not be completely stuck down. Um, or maybe they did it so that when you go to take this off, it's not a complete nightmare to take off if you ever want to do that. And the instructions just say this is paintable if you want to paint it. Um, I suppose I could maybe wrap it if I really wanted to. I guess that's something I could explore if it comes down to it. Like this really bothers me being black. But honestly, with a hatch closed, with the overall theme of the Q3 and with the matte black back here, uh, I don't hate it. I, I don't think it looks bad or anything. Let me know what you guys think and give me your opinion on it. Now again, 
fit and finish, really, really good. Uh, it is just an ABS piece of plastic molded and cut out for each specific car. So if this is something you guys want to check out, again, the company is called Travall, T-R-A-V-A-L-L. -L. I will link them down below. You can check out their website and maybe pick one of these up for your vehicle. They are relatively inexpensive, very easy to install. All right, next I'm gonna run inside. We are gonna put the roof rack back together because over here on one of my many shelves, the rails were taken apart so they can be wrapped to match this topography. So we're gonna go inside, put these back together, get them on the car, and we'll wrap this video up. Okay guys, check it out, check it out, check it out. Roof bars are on, and as you can see, they are wrapped in that same topography camo that's accented on the car. So much better than the silver. I had the silver on there for like a week before I went and dropped this thing off. And it just like nothing matched with it. There's nothing silver on the car. So even before the wrap, there was nothing silver. Uh, but anyways, wrapped, on, installed, good to go. We have some things that are gonna be going up here very, very soon in another video or two. We've got a bunch of videos planned actually. Also now we're in the garage because even though it's almost winter time in Florida, uh, I was trying to get this thing up on here and there were like five mosquitoes trying to attack me at the same time. It was terrible. So I pulled this thing in the garage, got the door closed and we successfully got these installed without being absolutely destroyed by mosquitoes. Now there is one in here. I could hear it flying around like a damn bird. You can hear how loud they are. But anyways, I digress. Done, done, done. Wrap, done. Rear bumper protector installed. Big, big shout out to Travel for sending this to me. I know it has been a couple of months since I've gotten it, but it's installed, we are good to go. Fit and finish is fantastic. Link down below to check them out. So I said I've got some parts that I'm gonna be putting on this thing soon. We have some stuff, again, that's gonna go up here from Rhino Rack, that's all you get for now. We've got some stuff that's gonna go under here from Integrated Engineering. And we've got some parts from B2B Fab that are gonna be going here and back here. So stay tuned for all these installs that I have lined up. Before we wrap it up, let's open the door and say hello to Archer. Yay! Hey, Bob. What's up? He's a good boy in here. He's a good boy. All right. All right, guys, that wraps up this rather quick video. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.